Hi, Shabbat Shalom. Hope you're having a very sweet Shabbat. An invitation to you to respond as we do to the song of glory, Shira Kavod, otherwise known as Anim Zmirot. Page 46, we rise in front of the open dark in order to just get a sense or a taste or a grasp of what God's image in our life experiences really looks like or feels like. When we talk about God's image, we, we talk about an embracing image. We talk about uh, an image of a lawgiver, of a teacher. And what's it feel like to be in, in front of the master teacher of the universe? The idea of needing to find a little bit more of a songful way to approach God and to elevate one's spiritual status on the Sabbath or Yontif was an idea hatched by most likely Rabbeinu Yehuda HaChassid in the 13th century. And it was either him, Rabbi Yehuda HaChassid, the Ashkenazic pietist, or his father, whose name was Rabbi Shmuel, who wrote down some of the original 31 verses of this poem, which at the end have a couple of verses from the Tanakh, one from Chronicles chapter 2911, and the other from Psalms 106, verse 2. The 106th Psalm that's referenced at the end is an expression of the wonder we have about Adonai Eloheinu, our, our God, and asks, Adonai. Who can express the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can understand any of the chapters of history in what they represent as the infinite nature of human experience. But, Yashmia, Kol Tehilato, we will exclaim uh, all the praise that we can find in our hearts for the very gift of our lives. I think that's the core message here. We sing out as a song is this wonderful way of both prayer and praise in addition to gratitude and expression of knowing that we are gifted this life. The search for God may continue throughout our lives. A person may not have his or her entire picture of God or concept of God worked out. Through the verses of poetry, the liturgy invites us to recognize that we need various kinds of images, and it's worth reading both in the Hebrew to get a better handle on the Hebrew, because this is not the easiest Hebrew in the world, Danim Zmirot, and it's worth reading the translation that you can find in the Siddur or online in order to use some of the metaphors and use some of the access points that the poet provides for us. It's a blessing for me to be here with Ziv this Shabbat, and to invite you to sing responsively as we do as a congregation to these lines. The very fact that we have a responsive modality in, in chanting this beautiful song is mentioned in the halachic sources from ages ago. It's already mentioned as well in our halachic sources that Shira Kavod, the song of glory, Lo Nemar Al Yedei Shaliach HaTzibur, HaKavua. It's not said by the Shaliach Tzibur, the prayer leader, who was presenting Musaf, who was leading us through Musaf. Sometimes we, we still have our prayer leader, Duanim Zmirot Ador Zulu. But in general, the sources will say, Ela, that we can honor children at that point 
and those who have not reached the age of mitzvah. But of course, the children can be inspired by those adults and teens who in our community take up the leadership post for the chanting of this wonderful song. Anim Zmirot is on page 46 in the Sim Shalom, if you have that at home, or it's on page 570 in the currency door. Anim Zmirot Veshirim Erog Ki Elecha Nafshi Tarog Nafshi Chanda Betzel Yadecha Ledat Chorat Sodecha Midei Dabri how can I daber with Hanifadot, the Shim Hahabed, the Shire Edido, a sapra kebocha belore itiha, Adam Hah and Habelo Yedatiha, the Yan Yavia Besor Abadeha, the Mita Hadar Kevodo Deha.
may these words of inspiration really lift you this Shabbat towards a little bit more of the divine in life. Um, wishing you pathways of peace. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.